And so now let us do a last minute revision for the subject of physics for class 12 CBSC for the chapter number 10 on wave optics. So here we will cover up the important formulas so relating to this particular so chapter we have the formula number 1. So superposition of wave are given by y1 equal to a1 sin 1 so sin omega t and y2 equal to a2 sin omega t plus phi and y equal to y1 plus y2 and given by r sin omega t plus phi and the resultant amplitude r is given by the formula square root of a1 square plus a2 square plus a2 a1 a2 cos phi and also i1 equal to k a1 square i2 equal to k a2 square and i r equal to k r square where i r equal to a1 square plus a2 square plus 2 a1 a2 cos phi so where all these so notations have their usual meanings <coughs> so now let us take down the point number 3 the conditions for constructive and destructive interference so we have for constructive interference given by phi equal to we have for 0 2 pi and 4 pi and for destructive interference phi has the values of pi 3 pi phi pi and so on and i max is given by a1 plus a2 whole square and and the ratio i max divided by i minimum equal to a1 divided so a1 plus a2 whole square so divided by a1 minus a2 whole square and that is equal to r1 r plus 1 whole square so divided by r minus 1 whole square where r equal to a1 divided by a2 and further the resultant intensity ir is given by i1 plus i2 plus 2 into square root of i1 i2 into cos phi if i1 equal to i2 and that is equal to i we have the resultant intensity given by ir equal to 4 i cos square phi by 2 and i max will be equal to 4 i and i minimum will be equal to 0 and coming to the so Young's so double slit experiment the constructive pattern for the constructive pattern the path difference is given by n lambda where n takes the value 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on and for a destructive pattern the path difference is given by 2n minus 1 into lambda by 2 where n so takes the value so 1, 2, 3 and so on. So the bandwidth beta so here you can see the central bright and the the different fringes so with respect to the dark and bright fringes so as shown in this particular figure. So then for the nth bright fringe from the central maxima we have so xn equal to so n lambda d divided by d where n takes the value 0, 1, 2 and so on and for the nth fringe from the central maxima so xn equal to 2n minus 1 into so lambda into capital D divided by 2D where n takes the value 1, 2, 3 and so on and the fringe width beta is given by so lambda into capital D divided by D and the angular width so for angular width in a double slit we have theta equal to lambda by D equal to so beta by D and in YDSC if so N1 fringes are visible in a field of view so with light of wavelength lambda 1 and and with N2 with light of wavelength lambda 2 in the same field so then we have so N1 into lambda 1 equal to N2 into lambda 2 and further if the in the same setup is taken in another medium so then the lambda changes so therefore the fringe width beta also changes so in this case you have mu b divided by mu 1 equal to lambda 2 divided by lambda 1 so therefore we can say that mu is inversely proportional to lambda and further the for the shifting of the fringe pattern we have the equation 
So, fringe shift is given by D into, so capital D into mu minus 1 into T divided by D and that is also equal to so beta into in bracket mu minus 1 into T so divided by lambda and the additional path difference is given by mu minus 1 in bracket into T and if the shift is equivalent to M fringes so then we can say that so M is equal to mu minus 1 into T divided by lambda for a double slit and the Fraunhofer diffraction for a single slit so, pa so experiment so can be seen here where for a single slit it is given by the secondary minima is given as A sin theta n equal to n lambda where n takes the value 1, 2, 3 and so on and if theta n is small so then A into theta n equal to n into lambda and for secondary minima we have A sin theta n equal to 2n plus 1 into lambda by 2 where n can take the values 1, 2, 3 and so on. And the width of the central minima, so here you can see in this particular figure, the width, the width of the central maxima is given by, so w equal to 2x, so that is so x plus x, so here you can see the, the width of the central maxima equal to 2x and that is equal to 2 lambda d, so 2 lambda into capital D divided by A and the angular width so 2 theta so theta plus theta 2 theta equal to 2 lambda divided by a <coughs> and the intensity graph so here you can see the the intensity graph of the wave so as shown in this particular figure and the resolving power of an optical instrument for a telescope it is given as the resolving limit is given as d theta and that is equal to 1.22 lambda divided by a and the resolving power equal to 1 by so d theta and that will be equal to a divided by 1.22 lambda where a is the diameter of the objective lens and the resolving power of a microscope the resolving limit is given by so lambda divided by 2 mu sin alpha and the numerical aperture equal to mu sin alpha. So, this completes a last minute revision of the important formulas and graphs. So, with respect to this particular chapter number so 10 on the wave optics. So, this covers a quick revision on this chapter. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm.